Hi, my name is Rob Syke, and I'm the founder of the AgriTrend Group of Companies, uh, headquartered in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. The exciting news is that on uh, Tuesday morning, uh, we announced that uh, the AgriTrend Group of Companies, and that includes uh, AgriTrend and our carbon credit business and our AgriData business, has all been acquired uh, by uh, Trimble Navigation, and that was announced on uh, Tuesday morning. So that is the exciting news, and a very big day for our organization and a very big day for me personally. Well, the reason I think this will fit in very nicely with the Trimble world is AgriTrend is really comprised of three different areas. We have AgriTrend in our coaching network that helps farmers grow the crop, sell the crop, and manage the money. So whether it's market coaching or, or business coaching or agri-coaching or geo-coaching, precision ag integration, we provide coaching services. We also have a, a AgriData solution that provides the underpinning for the coaches that work with farmers and underpinning all of that we have agri-knowledge and agri-knowledge really is where our brain trust lies that's that's where our senior coaches we have over 30 PhDs and about 60 masters and so they provide the scientific underpinning for the coaching side but also insight development for the data side you combine that with the power of Trimble's global network and you tie that together with uh, the plethora of technology that they have on the shelf whether it be sensor technology Technology, or whether it be GPS uh, or whether it be navigation technology you tie all that together and it really is a good fit and the last part is really quite important AgriTrend has always prided itself on being um, unbiased and professional and independent and so this deal with Trimble keeps that all intact we we don't sell fertilizer and chemical and seed we don't buy grain and Trimble is as as agnostic as it comes in terms of equipment. They deal with the red, uh, you know, blue, yellow, and importantly, they deal with green. So that really fulfills our ability to maintain that neutral status in the marketplace. One of the key things as the founder of an organization is your people. And you want to make sure that you're looking after your customers, and we're looking after our coaches, and we're looking after our staff as we do this transition. And uh, the transition is very simple. AgriTrend stays, AgriData stays, our team stay. Uh, we wake up on Monday effectively uh, becoming a Trimble organization. And uh, really all the things, all the pieces are in place. That's really important because we wanted to make sure that we maintained our continuity with our farm customers. Uh, farmers built our business. They are the heart of why we do what we do. And we've always put them at the center of our meetings. Um, every discussion that we've had at AgriTrend is farmer-centric in nature. Is this good for our farm customer? And I find that Trimble is much the same way. They are a farmer-centered organization. And uh, it's going to be really, really cool to put together um, our agronomic and our, our coaching and our technical expertise and ground truth the technologies that Trimble has on the shelf. I think that's a, a really good fit. So I don't see much change except my role. Uh, Darren Howie, who's been president of AgriTrend, will take over as general manager of the AgriTrend group of companies while I'll move more into a, uh, a global business development role. And how exciting is that to take the child that you've built and now be able to travel around the globe pulling AgriTrend, AgriData and our AgriKnowledge team around the planet. I think that's a pretty exciting future for me. It's really too early for me to comment on the, the strategy in terms of how we're going to take AgriTrend and our components forward on, on a global basis but without doubt that was one of the reasons and one of the, the things that appealed to me, one of the things that appealed to Trimble about the deal. Um, I think that uh, natural progression would be for us to continue our work in the United States. Uh, AgriTrend has been expanding in the United States and we've got a pretty healthy footprint but our business is well known in Western Canada. Our business is known in Canada but get south of the line and we have to spend some time uh, teaching people who AgriTrend and AgriData is and it takes some time. Um, being with the Trimble brand is going to expedite the confidence level that farmers are going to have in working with us in the United States and ultimately globally so I see us uh, I see us walking before we run and we've got some work to do kind of in the home base first um, but uh, we'll see where the strategies uh, 
roll out once we get together as a, as a management team to discuss them. In terms of markets around the world where agri-trend and our system could operate, I, I continually am attracted to broad acre agriculture markets. And so I think about Brazil, I think about Argentina, both of where I've traveled. I, I think a lot about, uh, well, my, my background is Ukrainian, so I, I think about Ukraine, I think about Russia and Kazakhstan, all of which I've traveled. Uh, those countries really have agriculture that dovetails nicely into our system. Um, the problem, again, is, is global reach and, and muscle and presence in the marketplace. And I know from traveling all of those areas that Trimble has presence in those marketplaces. So again, the deal is quite complementary um, in terms of thinking about how we could move forward globally with our model uh, and, and, uh, and Trimble's uh, muscle. So that's kind of cool. Our model, Trimble's Muscle, their technology team, our agronomic team, our complementary data sets. It's really a great match. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.